Hey you guys, what's going on? Hunter here from VW World. Welcome back to the page. Right here, we have the 2020 Passat S. So this is the entry level for the Passat. This one happens to be in the deep black pearl metallic with the Titan black interior. We do have uh, the lights on. It is dark out here, so you can see what those uh, LEDs look like. They certainly are bright and look very nice. We'll walk around the exterior here a little bit, let you take a look at it, then we'll take a look at the interior too. Definitely a, uh, a value car for the midsize sedan here. It is definitely a good value overall for what you get. Right here, base model, you just get your 17 inch alloy wheels. They look fine, nothing too fancy though. You can see all the aggressive lines on the hood. You can see that they have a bolder eyebrow on the light here. Kind of has that Jetta look on the front grille. Uh, it's gotten a little bit bigger than it was previously. Let's go take a look in the back here. So this again with the has a 2.0 turbocharged engine, has a boost in torque for the 2020 year. What we're very familiar with in with the Passat in previous years is the rear leg room. So have a ton of it. We have this new kind of pattern on the seats though. Looks great. We'll see how it holds up uh, to anything spilling on it or any stains, but looks like an awesome pattern by just looking at it. See so a step back here. The, these are wrapped in some Falcon tires on those 17 inch wheels. Take a look in the rear. So we've definitely seen a redesign in the rear end here. It looks great. A little more sleek looking. Got those, those uh, the Passat badging, big and bold. Definitely know it's a Passat now. They're behind it. The lights look great again for an entry level car. Definitely very sharp and stylish. Down below, of course, the highly faded uh, fake exhaust tips. So we have the backup camera hidden right underneath there. The little push button soft pad right next to that. Springs open nicely, does from the key as well. Definitely opens up quite a way so you don't hit your head on it. Of course our 60-40 rear folding seats are on each side back here. So those rear seats drop down. We still have the Volkswagen cargo mat system in here. So the Velcro blocks right here will stick onto that so your groceries don't roll around. Take a look from this back corner over here. And here in a second, we'll walk and look up front, see what those gauges look like at night. Definitely a great looking midsize sedan with four year 50,000 mile warranty on it with the two years included maintenance on it. And all right, let's go take a look up front here, see what's new and improved. So, of course, before we hop in, you can see your blind spot monitoring there, right in the mirror. Door panel looks very similar to previous years in the Passat. Of course, our door locks, our mirror adjustments, our heated mirrors there on the far side, all the one touch up and down windows, our rear trunk release that will actually spring open. And unlike the, uh, the Jetta on the base model, this actually has a height adjustment on the passenger seat, which is real nice. Which I'm surprised the 19 Jetta didn't come with, but our controls for this seat on this side, our auto headlights, our dimmer switch right there. The nice easy layout for the steering wheel controls here. So on the bottom there, our volume controls our cruise control right in here on the opposite side. Whole system to control our little screen up front. And then of course our little track search. 
but steering wheel feels very similar to the previous generation Passat S. There's a look at our gauges. They look nice and red. We can do a lot with the little center screen in the middle as well. And over here to the center, so we do have the newer kind of layout in the dash here. The buttons are kind of recessed back, more nice and flat. Give it a more modern look. So we do have our Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Mirror Link in the base model. Kind of menu right in there. Down below our climate control right in this section. Nice, clean, simple layout, easy to use. As well as right underneath there. Don't know if you can see, but we have our 12 volt. And in the darkness there, we have our USB. Of course, our normal automatic with sport mode and triptonic shifting. Kind of a metallic finish here in the center. Looks really nice. In the center here, nice little uh, storage space. But what's really different is that huge sweeping vent. Kind of like the Ardeon. Of course, not the whole thing's a vent, but it looks like it. You can see our little controls right there and right there, and then on the far side. And a great look up on the dash. Nice and flat with a lot of nice little uh, design in there. It's kind of stitched on the far end over there. So that looks good. Up top here, of course, our lights and sunglass holder. Again, they kept with a nice, easy layout for everything. Everything's functional, easy to use. But I think Volkswagen, uh, they did, they did a good job redesigning this. They kept it simple, kept it easy to use. And I think they uh, really shot for that lower budget, which they did good at for the midsize sedan category. But if you guys have any questions on this 2020 Passat, make sure to uh, leave your thoughts or comments in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to try answering any questions you guys have. But uh, also make sure you guys smash the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll uh, keep bringing more Volkswagen videos out to you guys. All right, guys, until next time.